Packing up lunches at Resurrection St. Paul is routine for the students. Our whole school is about service, so we try to do service for somebody in some sort of organization. So each month we uh, do lunches for the homeless. What is different this month? The extra set of hands. There are 14 students from South Korea. Kids from Yolin Academy are here on what normally would be their summer break, but instead they're spending a month in the classroom, learning as much as they can. We have more like fun activities and learn more, so we have more time to study, learn English. They've been doing this for five years. As we prepare them to be global citizens, because that is our mission for these kids, and also that we treat each other with respect and dignity. They're really nice, and they must be really smart for having to learn all these languages. One thing that doesn't need translation, the act of giving back. Yolen Academy, just like Resurrection St. Paul, has a strong emphasis on service. Although this experience of making lunches is new. In America, we make a sandwich and give to homeless people. So it's the first time to give the lunch to homeless people. The students from South Korea say that by far the best experience has been in the classroom here at the school. However, it's given them a lot of opportunity outside of the building too. We went to Annapolis and, saw, and we saw Naval Academy and we went to Washington, D.C. There is a lot to learn in a month, and every year both schools are enriched as the program grows. They're looking to see where it goes from here. In Ellicott City, Megan Pringle, WBAL, TV 11 News. What a